Hey everybody, it's Jay Ball, Blue Jays Outdoors, and welcome back to, I don't, it's, it's not really a Jay's Gems, but this is actually a pretty special unboxing, and I want to give a really big shout out to Josh and Jason. They're the owners of Dark Horse Tackle, and I bought two different, or I ordered uh, from two different products from two of the different guys that they had on their podcast, the podcast, the Needy Podcast. I'm going to try to find a way to put a link to the podcast somewhere in this video, or maybe down in the description. But the first thing that I bought was a bunch of hooks from a company called Blue Rock Custom Tackle. And these guys are made here in the US and they got some really interesting jigs. I had to pick up some of the 1099 jigs. Anybody that's bought any of the Blue Rock Tackle uh, jigs before knows about the 1099 jig. But I got some an interesting idea and I wanna show you guys or share this with you. So check this out. So I got some of the what are these things called? These are the little frogs. You guys check these things out. These things are little itty bitty soft plastics. These go on the bottom of the jigs. And again, these are from Blue Rock Custom Tackle, but I wanna show you what I got. So these jigs right here, this is the triple threats. Yeah, so I got some triple threats, these black triple threat jigs. And then I got the brown triple threat. These are in quarter ounce. And actually what I'm gonna do with these is I'm gonna make these my weight for a drop shotting for smallmouth in Lake St. Clair this summer. So something a little bit different. I, you know, I haven't done a ton of drop shotting, something I'm still getting really used to doing, but I wanna buy these jigs, these triple threats, because one, the barb on the hook is pretty, pretty tough. I'll show you guys the hook real quick. So it's a pretty stout hook. So you can see just how big that hook is for such a small jig. And then it's got this single wire brush guard. And then it's got this keeper right here on the back and they are wire tied. But I'm gonna use this for a weight for my drop shot this summer for catching smallmouth on Lake St. Clair and maybe even Saginaw Bay. But I saw this, I'm like, you know what? I gotta pick up some of these. But then I also got the 1099 jig, which I've never seen before, but Josh and Jason spoke highly of them. And again, it's a really heavy wire hook. It's a smaller profile jig, but it's really heavy. It's wire tied again. I got this in the green pumpkin orange with this brush guard on here. So I'm really, really excited about throwing this around. So I think I'll put those plastic trailers on there, those frog looking trailers. But yeah, so big shout out to the Knee Deep Podcast for turning me on to blue, these Blue Rock Custom Tackle jigs. And then the next company that I bought, bought it from is a company called Vector Hooks. And I'm still really, looking for a good treble hook for steelhead fishing you know one thing that i've been doing a lot in the nitro you guys have seen is trolling for steelhead and steelhead are just tough on hooks let's just face it and they pretty much tear up every single style of treble hook that i bought so i bought these tornadoes so these are four aughts so you guys can take a look at these these are from vector hooks and i've heard a lot of good reviews on these these treble hooks really interested in giving these things a shot. So these are gonna be used on probably most of my crankbaits this summer, but I'm really looking forward to trying these on steelhead because again, they just tear up hooks. They are really tough on treble hooks. But then what I also wanna do is I wanted to buy some frog hooks as well. You guys know I love doing frog fishing with Dylan Grubb from Extreme Outdoorsman in Northern Michigan. And I wanted to buy some replacement frog hooks. So these are, I think the three out frog hooks. And I think these things are gonna be really sticky as far as sharp. So there's the three out frog replacement hook. And yeah, that thing is super, super sharp. So these are made with a proprietary metal. I'm not sure what's in them, but uh, these things are super sharp and super durable. So I'm really excited to try out these frog hooks. And then I also do a lot of flipping and pitching, which you guys have seen me do a lot of. So I bought some five aught EWG hooks as well. And again, these things are super sharp, super durable. I'm really excited to use these this, this spring and summer for flipping either my brush beaver from EA Bay Company or my structure bug from Strike King. So look at that, look at that EWG five out hook. That thing is just beefy. That thing is not gonna bend out. I'm really looking forward to getting this thing out and using this, but man, that is super, super sharp. So again, both uh, you know small businesses made here in America. Really appreciate Jason and um, uh, Justin from Knee Deep, uh, yeah, Knee Deep Podcast from Dark Horse Tackle, or Josh and Jason, sorry, for turning me on to the, both Vector Hook and um, Blue Rock Custom Jigs. 
So got a really cool sticker from Blue Rock. I put that on the nitro somewhere. But I really hope you guys enjoyed uh, this really quick, you know, unboxing video. It's something I've been waiting to do for a little bit now. But uh, again, I'll leave the link to Blue Rock Custom Tackle and also to the Need Be Podcast and Vector Hook in the description of this video so you guys can check them out. So again, I really do appreciate you guys hanging out with me. Remember, leave a thumbs up, leave a comment if you like this kind of content. And remember, the easiest way to change your attitude is by showing gratitude. Thanks, and we'll catch you in the water next time.